This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the New Relic Data Retention plugin for Pixie. Note that this tutorial is for Pixie users who are new to New Relic or are existing New Relic users who do not have the Pixie integration installed. Pixie is an open source observability tool for Kubernetes. So you might wonder why you should use the New Relic Pixie plugin. Well, one of Pixie's unique features is that it collects, stores, and queries all telemetry data locally in your cluster. Retention time depends on the level of traffic in your cluster, but will generally be on the order of hours. For many use cases, several hours of data is enough to debug issues with your Kubernetes applications. But for long-term visibility, Pixie offers a plugin system that can be used to export Pixie data off your cluster to an external storage provider. The New Relic plugin makes it easy for you to export Pixie data to the New Relic platform. By exporting Pixie data to New Relic, you'll get long-term storage of Pixie data, in New Relic, visualizations of Pixie data using New Relic dashboards, and alerts using Pixie data in New Relic. Everything I'm about to show you is available in a tutorial that I'll link below. All right, so I've spun up a Minikube cluster, and I've deployed Pixie to it. So here you can see Pixie in the PL and PX operator namespaces. I also have a demo microservices application deployed to PX, the PX sock shop namespace so that we have some traffic in the cluster that we can export. So the last thing we need to do is quickly create a new Relic account. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab that link from my inbox. Okay, so I'm going to set my region. And um, when you first create a new Relic account, it will guide you through installing different agents. But we don't actually need to install a new Relic agent for this plugin to work. So I'm going to skip that step. And I'm just going to go to one.newrelic.com to get out of that install flow. Okay, so now we have a new Relic account and it doesn't have any data. So let's go back over to Pixie. And so here we can see our sock shop um, demo application with the load tester. And here we can see our front end service and it's talking to the user service and the order service, the cart service. So let's export that data. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the admin page. So that's the upper right-hand corner and then admin, and then go to the plugins tab. And here we're gonna enable the new Relic plugin. So I'm just going to toggle this slider. So this plugin requires a new Relic API key. So let's go back over to new Relic. We're gonna go to the top right-hand corner and under my profile, I'm gonna click API keys and we're gonna click the create a key button. Now, this is really important. Make sure your key type is of type ingest license. And I'll give this key a name. Okay, then I'm gonna copy this key using the little three dot menu and paste this into the API key field. Now this next field, the custom export URL, this is only necessary if your New Relic account is based outside of the US. If your New Relic account is inside the US, you can just leave this empty and it will use the default um, OTLP endpoint here. But if your account is based outside of the US, you'll need to enter your region specific uh, open telemetry endpoint um, URL and that's the directions for that are in the doc. So let's click the save button. Okay, so now that we've got um, New Relic's long-term data retention plugin enabled, we need to configure it. So we need to go to this long-term data export page, and you can also get to it by clicking this data retention icon in the left uh, sidebar. So now that we've enabled the New Relic plugin, we need to choose which Pixie data to export. And again, to get to this page, you can click this data retention icon in the left sidebar. The New Relic Pixie plugin provides several preset scripts to help you get started exporting Pixie data to New Relic. These scripts are written in Pixel, Pixie's query language, and use Pixie's OpenTelemetry methods to transform Pixie data into OpenTelemetry format data. 
Now the New Relic plugin periodically sends this OpenTelemetry formatted data to the New Relic OpenTelemetry collector. So you can see here how often it's sending this data. And you can't actually edit these scripts, but if you go into them, uh, it's not editable here, but you can um, select which clusters you're querying as well as how often you're querying. So in this tutorial, we're gonna use the preset scripts, but if you'd like to write custom scripts to export additional Pixie data, for example, Redis trace fans, you can do so under the custom scripts section. Okay, so we got this new relic plugin set up on the Pixie side. Let's hop back over to the New Relic side. So we should be seeing data here. Let's go to the main Explorer view. Oh yes, and you can see that this services open telemetry option has um, appeared in the left sidebar here. If you don't see this option, it's uh, just check back in a minute or so. This option will only appear once the open telemetry endpoint starts receiving Pixie data. So here we can see some of our services um, that were our sock shop services that we're sending data for. And let's click the front end service. So here we're on the service summary view, and this shows the response time, uh, you know, your HTTP latency, HTTP throughput, and error rate for this service. You can also check out the service map, and that option is in the left sidebar here. And here we can see our front end service is talking to the orders, user, and catalog service. This is really helpful to tell what your app is doing at a high level. Another thing we can do is check the transactions tab. So this view shows the different endpoints that the front end service is making requests to, and we can sort those endpoints by response time or throughput. So let's check out a different service. So I'm gonna go up here to the service drop-down menu, and I happen to know that the catalog service talks to a database. So let's click the databases tab, and here we can see all the MySQL requests that the catalog service is making to the catalog database service. And again, you can sort these by average response time or throughput. So that's a quick overview of um, how you can see the Pixie data that you've exported to New Relic in the New Relic side. And again, this is great for long-term retention of Pixie data, which only has a short-term storage in your cluster. So one other thing I want to show you is once you're exporting Pixie data to New Relic, you can also create dashboards on the New Relic side to visualize this long-term Pixie data. So let's go install one of the pre-built dashboards for Pixie data. So, so if you go over to the left here and click the Explorer button, you can get to the dashboards page. And we're going to click browse pre-built dashboards. And we're going to search for Pixie. And then click the Pixie option. And then let's click the install this quick start button in the top right. And this is gonna take you through a guided flow for installing an agent, but we can actually skip that step. And then let's click see your data button. So this is gonna set up a Pixie Quick Start dashboard for us. And this dashboard allows you to see the slowest HTTP targets, um, the slowest services, errors by service um, and target as well as throughput by service. Uh, this dashboard has two tabs. So if you click the HTTP spans tab, so here we can see a list of the most recent HTTP spans captured by Pixie, and you can filter this data as well. Another thing that I wanna discuss is alerting. So Pixie doesn't offer any alerting, but if you export Pixie data to New Relic, you can take advantage of New Relic alerts. So let's use this uh, drop-down Explorer menu here and go to alerts. And this Pixie quick start guide that we just installed came with several pre-built alerts. So if you go to the alert conditions policies tab in the left sidebar, you can see the policy installed for us and that's the Pixie quick start alert policy. And a policy is just a group of one or more alert conditions. 
And this policy happens to have three alerts that are currently disabled. And so um, service throughput, basically for this one, it's uh, monitoring the HTTP metrics exported by Pixie. And if HTTP throughput exceeds the upper or lower baseline for this metric by one standard deviation for at least five minutes, then an alert will be created. And we have a similar thing for response time. So again, that's monitoring HTTP, HTTP metrics exported by Pixie. And if response time exceeds the upper or lower baseline for this metric by one standard deviation for at least five minutes, another alert will be created. For service errors, we're just monitoring HTTP status code metrics that we're receiving from Pixie. And if this error rate goes above zero at least once in five minutes, then an alert will be created. So to turn these on, you can just press the uh, on off toggle here and you'll start getting alerts. So that's it. I just wanted to show you how to export Pixie data to New Relic for long-term storage, dashboarding, and alerting. This tutorial used several of the preset plugin scripts to export Pixie data to New Relic, but if you'd like to export custom Pixie data, you can do so by writing your own custom export scripts, and you can find more information about that on our um, tutorial. If you run into any problems, there's also a troubleshooting section in that tutorial as well.